As the Premier jets off for trade talks in China, he's issued a stern warning to South Australian business. In an exclusive interview with Nine News, Jay Wetherill says it's business, not government, that has to change. One thing that everybody must now accept is that the challenges in front of us are enormous. From a collapsing auto industry to a stagnant mining sector and small businesses which say they're crippled by red tape. Challenges a re-energised Premier says he's ready to face. Uh, there'll be a lot of people out there, especially in the northern suburbs, that are going to be thinking to themselves, what, where's my future? Hmm. And so that's my job, is to map that out clearly. And rather than government-led growth, he says business will have to evolve. Business is going to have to change. It's going to have to, uh, I think, lift its gaze to look outwards. We're now next to the fastest growing place in the planet. Uh, and that's just one, that's China. There's India and Southeast Asia as well. Boldness in business and boldness in government. It's a recurring concept and one that Premier Wetherill hopes to make the theme of his first full term. Uh, it will have to be bolder and it will have to involve some element of controversy because you can't make change without causing upset to established interest. And what are some of those bold ideas? I think that we need to, to do a lot about renovating our democracy. I think people have lost a bit of faith in politics and politicians. The second thing is renovating government itself, what it does. Uh, we need to get much more out of uh, essentially our government. It's going to have to be uh, a much more activist government Without that mandate, though, how, how do you become an activist? Well, you, I mean, I'm relieved of uh, any particular... Um, you know, the, the opposition says I don't have a mandate. Well, the flip side of that is that uh, I'm at large to promote what I think is the way forward. And I think people want me to lead.